Java and Python are the two most trending and powerful languages of recent times and it is quite common to get confused when it comes to picking one out of the two. Now the most common question asked by the beginners is which one is better Java or Python. This is Shantini from Edureka and in today's session I will talk about how both the languages differ from one another and which one fits your goal better. So let's get started. The number of programming languages used in production and day to day life has seen an enormous growth in the last decade. Now from those bustling numbers we are going to narrow our focus to the two most popular languages that have created quite a buzz among the developers as well as the beginners. So let's begin with a brief introduction of both the languages. Java is one of the most fundamental languages that produces software for multiple platforms and the best thing is that it is machine independent and can be written once and run anywhere. Python on the other hand is a simple easy to read and high level programming language, but programmers mostly fall in love with it because of the increased productivity that it provides. Both of these have been the two most popular and controversial languages of the decade. So let's move ahead and take a look at the various aspects of comparison that will help us to find an answer to the question which one is better out of the two. Now if we take a look at the speed of Java and Python the former is a statically typed programming language which makes it faster whereas the later is an interpreter which determines the type of data at runtime thus making it slower comparatively when it comes to legacy Java's history in the enterprise and the verbose coding style are typically larger and more numerous whereas Python has less legacy problem which makes it difficult for the organizations to copy and paste codes. Now both the languages are pretty simple and easy to write but if we look at the length of both the codes Python consists of less number of lines or shorter codes as compared to Java which are also easy to understand. Another characteristic is the databases. Java database connectivity is most popular and widely used to connect whereas Python's database access layers are weaker than JDBC. That is why it is rarely used in enterprises. Now if we look at the practical agility Java provides more undeviating refactoring support than Python because of its static type system and universality of IDE for the development of mobile and web applications. But Python has become a popular choice for all the recent technologies like data science machine learning IOT and artificial intelligence. Next up if we look at the search results of US and India in the last five years US has seen a drastic drift in the domination of both the languages. There has been a significant growth in the search for Python whereas the other has seen a gradual decrease in the graph. India has also seen a growth in case of Python. The next feature of comparisons is the salary growth of Java engineers and Python engineers based on their experience. We can see that there has been a steady growth in both the situations over a certain period of time. Now if we compare the growth of both the engineers in case of freshers Python has a little edge over Java due to its increased demand in the recent times. Nowadays the jobs are mostly related to automation and artificial intelligence which prefer Python over Java and that's exactly why we can see the shift in the graph. Whereas if we look at the growth in case of experienced engineers Java dominates over the time because Java has been in use way before Python became popular and the experienced engineers find it convenient for them to stick to their comfort zone instead of moving to a new language. Now let us have a look at one of the most important aspects that makes Java and Python different from each other and this might help you to finally decide the winner out of the two. Let's have a look at some of the basic differences. Java is a compiled programming language and the source code is compiled down to byte code by the Java compiler and the byte code is executed by a Java virtual machine. On the other hand Python is an interpreted language as the translation occurs at the same time as the program is being executed. Now Java supports encapsulation inheritance polymorphism and abstraction which makes it an object oriented language. Python is also an object oriented language but it has an added advantage 
It is also a scripting language and it is easy to write scripts in Python. Now statically typed programming languages do type checking at compile time as opposed to runtime. Whereas the dynamically typed programming languages do type checking at runtime as opposed to compile time and it helps you write a little quicker because you do not have to specify types every time. Next if we compare the number of lines in a code Python can perform the same action with fewer lines than the same code written in Java. In this example, we are printing the statement hello world using both the languages. But in Java, we need to define a class and a main function, which makes it a three line code already. Whereas we can just use the print function for the statement in case of Python. In Java programming language, if you miss the semicolon at the end of a statement, it will throw an error. But there is no such need of any semicolon to end a statement in case of Python. Now another important difference in the syntax of both the languages is the indentation. In Java you must define a particular block using curly braces. Otherwise the code won't work. But in case of Python there is no such site of any curly braces. Even though indentation is mandatory. It also improves the readability of the code. So if we take a closer look at all these aspects of comparison, we can say that Python has a slight edge over Java and it would be fair to declare the former as the winner in this battle. So what do you think? Do let us know about your opinion in the comment section below and also mention other aspects where you think Java wins over Python. Till then, thank you and happy learning.